Right. Let me just set a spot of context here. I don't even know if I can. Um, so this is one of, if not my favorite driving roads in the world. This is one of the best hypercars ever made in the world. And I remember having a conversation three or four years ago. If you could pick one car that you wanted to drive Jebel J's, and I'm not joking, one car that you could pick to drive Jebel J's, what would it be? And we speculated all sorts of things. Ultimately, I think we ended up settling on uh, LaFerrari Aperta, specifically the Aperta. But I said a very close second would be the McLaren P1. And in what world, in what world, would I ever in my wildest dreams I found myself in a McLaren P1 heading up Jebel J's. <laughs> this is unbelievable. So hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Dubai. I believe we are on day four. Day four, yes, yeah, so much happens here in such a short period of time. Speaking of lots of things happening, today is a very, very special day. We are starting at the SLS Hotel and Residences here in Dubai. I'm currently on the 43rd floor, hence that remarkable view right there. I still can't get over waking up to that every day. Uh, but today we're actually starting the adventure on the 70 fifth floor of the SLS Dubai uh, because we are here to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the UAE. Okay, just before we go, check this out. My room is actually a duplex apartment. So I technically have two balconies. In fact, not technically, I have two balconies, one upstairs in the bedroom, one downstairs in the lounge area. Look how cool this is. So your big views, and awesomeness everywhere you look. And this is actually a really unique perspective of Dubai. I've not seen the skyline from here before, mostly because the SLS wasn't built the last time I was here. Such is the rate of development of this remarkable city. Anyway, onwards to more awesomeness. See where I come from, people never make it out. I'm a five-star brain in a two-star town. And I'ma give it back when I have enough money in my hands. Enough for the friends and the fam. And I owe it all to Yahweh. Lord knows that I couldn't do it my way. I'm a spot a ticket for the past. Look at the view here, it's unbelievable. So I think we're on the 75th floor of the SLS hotel, uh, which is appropriately where you would put the pool, right? Okay, so the whole reason we're up here waving this massive flag is today is all about celebrating the 50th anniversary of the UAE. So we've come to the very top floor of the SLS Hotel, we rolled out probably the biggest flag that I've ever seen, and we're here to celebrate it in style by taking over 50 cars to the highest peak in the region to celebrate this momentous occasion. Let's hit it. Fun fact, uh, this is the exhaust which we've got going on our 720S back in the UK. Have you heard it? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. That's the photographer. That's the photographer. That's the photographer. How cool is that? <laughs> the photographer's on a super bike. I mean, he's gonna get the shots. Like, he'll be able to work his way up all the way through the mountain. <laughs> We're having a, an exhaust pop off with an Aventador. <laughs> Look at this. We've got the SLS, we've got the Vantage, 
and we're surrounded by, right now, hypercars. There's a P1 in the wing mirror, right there. Isn't it fantastic? I'm just taking a, a moment of simple observation. I'm just going to put up these windows so the wind noise doesn't destroy the audio. Isn't it fantastic that we're able to share this with you? Like, like really, I know that's what we do on the channel, but I just think, you know, this is one part of the world, an amazing event is taking place. We can literally share it with hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of people watch this. I just think that is amazing. It's just an incredible thing and I feel so pumped right now to be able to share this with more than just us in the immediate moment. Super cool. Massive thank you to Supercars Majelis for putting this on and uh, Boumaid. Apparently I've been calling him the wrong name for the last four years. I'm sorry, Boumaid. <laughs> <laughs> for lending me his uh, ridiculously cool 720S. Okay, this is our halfway point. Uh, we are now into Raz Al Kema, abbreviation R A K. Uh, this is our halfway point. We are meeting some other supercars here and importantly being joined by the Raz Al Khaimah police. So we're sort of handing over the baton as it were and look at that. Well this is the, the trail of people behind us which is, uh, which is quite fascinating to actually see the kind of convoy that we've got going on right now. That's, that's the first time that I've seen a Fenir on the road outside of the context of an organized event. He was going the opposite way. Like, he's not even with us. Um, I'll try and put in a link or something to set some context as to how ridiculous that is. Anyway, um, we have now arrived at the foot of the mountain range, which runs through Raz Al Khaimah, and the memories are coming flashing back. It also seems that they have made great improvements to the tarmac surface much earlier on. When you get up, there's another Fenir. Another one. I'm not sure which Fast and Furious it was, but do you remember the car that jumped through the skyscrapers? That's one of those, or two of those, as the case would be. Yes, yeah, so we're at the foothills. Memories coming flashing back. I'm gonna put a link in the description below because the first time I discovered this road was on a shoot where the Raz Al Khaimah Tourist Board actually arranged for us to close this road. Uh, when it gets good, there are miles and miles and miles of like, imagine a three lane Alpine Pass. Billiard smooth, beautiful tarmac, incredible sculpted driving roads. And uh, we worked with the Rack Tourist Board to close it and showcase it as uh, really a destination in the region. Because when we get up there, as you'll see in a minute, this stretch of tarmac is mind blowing. Um, so we've just been offered uh, someone's McLaren P1, so this is unbelievable. Day four of a six week trip. <laughs> so, uh, McLaren P1 needs no introduction, but sitting behind the wheel of one, uh, having DRS, drag reduction system button, and iPass. These are iconic buttons in themselves. Oh, this is unbelievable, and the feel of it. This is a turbo hybrid hypercar, a full carbon tub, sophisticated active aero, and um, yeah, one of the, the all-round hypercar exotics. This is one of the big three when uh, this thing launched alongside LaFerrari and 918. Um, and honestly, I'm, um, 
I just can't believe I'm in this thing. This is one of those where if you didn't have the video, your mates wouldn't believe you. <laughs> right? Well, here we are. Now, let's just take a look around. Uh, we've got a carbon everything. Um, in front of us, we have the Raz Al Khaimah police escorting us up. Which is very cool indeed. But to be in it is wonderful. And it's not as hardcore as you think, actually. I mean, don't get me wrong, when you, you know, drop gear and listen to the sound of that turbo. You ready? say a picture says a thousand words I mean we've got 30 frames a second and it's still not enough pictures to describe what's happening right now but I'm hoping it's giving you a flavor of just how epic this situation is look at this motorway width alpine road. It's the only way of explaining it. With the best tarmac. are going to be aching tomorrow. <laughs> How was that? I actually don't have the word. I literally, the vocabulary is gone. There's no words. Thank the Lord we got it in 4K. <laughs> I've never done a bit to camera rolling from car to car in a hypercar in a Urus. <laughs> Bumaid. You know that the name of these these classes is, is uh, Jays. Named oh, after this road. Really? Yeah. Named after this road. I think we peaked, Yorkie. Literally <laughs> peaked. But I, I mean, yeah, day four. P1 on my favorite driving road. Uh, surrounded by incredible people. In
Yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. How's it driving? Just honestly, I was just saying that was a real dream moment. Yeah. Those who watch the channel regularly will know that I'm never short for words. But at the minute, I'm just a bit, I'm just absorbing it all. I'm just like, take that. Did that actually happen? Look at where we are. I think it's all amplified as well because you know, back in the UK, lockdown was pretty heavy. Weather wasn't the best. Like we're in winter right now, and because travel has been limited for the last 18 months come here and do this I think is is amplified even further so the drama and sense of occasion has for want of a better word peaked so not only have we just driven up one of the best driving roads in the world where it looks like we're about to enjoy one of the best banquets in the world look at it this is at the top of this mountain <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to probably immerse you in some really nice B-roll of this incredible setup and then uh, head back down the mountain. Oh, but beforehand, I think we're going to arrange all of the cars in, in the number 50 and then we're going to get a top-down drone shot to celebrate the uh, 50 years of the UAE with the big flag out. So, monumental day. <laughs> You know that scene in Indiana Jones of the Last Crusade where the tank goes over the edge? Here, that is it. Anyway, let's uh, take a few steps back. Um, we're going to use this as an appropriate place to sign off. Um, I couldn't think of anything more picturesque, anything more beautiful than this incredible backdrop. I know I say this a lot, so anyone uh, who watches the channel regularly, are you ready for it? Pretty sure the camera <laughs> isn't doing it justice. Um, just an amazing, amazing, amazing event. I want to hear from you, questions and comments below. I've got to say a massive thank you to Supercars Magilist for arranging the day. A massive thank you to the gentleman who decided to give me the keys to his McLaren P1, which we're uh, about to drive back down Jebel Jay's in. So, uh, let me know. I want to. I want to hear your feedback. We're on day four. Where can this possibly go over the next six weeks? As always, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao. Drinking themselves crazy tonight. <laughs> Maybe I should call and say, Told you I'll be right. Wondering how.